Welcome scale modelers to SMKR. Up next is the Tamiya Centaur CS MK4. Welcome back. This is the Tamiya British Cruiser Centaur CS MK4 kit in 135th scale. This is a, another version of the Cromwell MK4. We'll get a closer look at the, the box itself. And the main difference between this and the Cromwell would be the gun and the engine. Everything else will be the same. Part number 35232. Looks like it retails for 3,300 yen. First thing when you open it up, it looks very similar to the Cromwell kit. However, there's only one additional bag that's different, and that would be the, the green parts that are located within this bag. All the other parts that are included are the same as the Cromwell kit. Alright, let's have a closer look. Of course, with this kit, the uh, decals are different compared to the Cromwell, so we have specific design decals for the Centaur. Closer look. Sprue Tree E. This is the additional sprue included with the Centaur kit. Get a closer look. There's the gun. The muzzle. Shield. Armor shield for the front of the turret. Of course, another tank driver for this one. Also, with the additional sprue came clear parts for a water bottle, lantern and goggles, some poly caps for the wheels, mesh screening material and some thread for the cables. Let's get a close look at the hull here. No details really on the sides there. On the bottom we see some access panels and of course the interior is stamped with uh, the year 1997 when it was initially released. Tracks look really good, rubber band style tracks. Top and bottom have very good detail. Let's look at sprue D. This is the turret and hedgerow cutting device. Now this was the first all welded tank of the British Army. There's the hedgerow device. Very nice texturing on the armor plate. For 97 tooling, this is very nice. I would expect this to my kit to go together very easily. Please note that this does have a two piece barrel. Spruna Bray. This looks like the running gear.
And the kit came with two of these sprues. Sprue number C comes with running gear supports, front armor, stowage bins, fenders. Hatches. Fine detail here. Sprue D. Top of the hole. The figure. No interior detail was included with this kit. Here's the back of the figure. A little more close up of the hole. Here's the instructions for the Centaur kit, which of course is the same as the Cromwell kit. The only difference being we have different paint guide, decal placement guide for the tank itself. Large accordion style fold out, of course, and more in the back. And there you have it. That was the review of the Centaur CS MK4, which is another variant of the Cromwell MK4. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, everybody. Happy modeling.